Recognize Ms. Norton. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, Mr. Horowitz, this question is for you. Democrats provided the Department of Labor uh, Inspector General $25 million in the American Rescue Plan to combat fraud and corruption in, in uh, the process. Also in the American Rescue Plan, Democrats made critical investments in fraud prevention and accountability, including providing more than $200 million in funding for watchdogs to investigate fraud, waste, and abuse, as well as $2 billion to support states' modernization of unemployment insurance systems to reduce fraud vulnerabilities. The Biden administration has begun using these funds to support state efforts to make unemployment insurance systems both more accessible to eligible recipients and less susceptible to fraud. The American Rescue Plan provided significant funding uh, to the Pandemic Recovery Accountability Committee as well. Yet my Republican colleagues voted against these common sense measures to reduce fraud. When the American Rescue Plan became law, Mr. Horowitz, you, res you released the following statement. Here I'm quoting you. The en enactment of the American Rescue Plan adds to the important independent oversight responsibilities of the PRAC and its members, Inspector Generals. We appreciate the ongoing support from Congress and the administration of the PRAC and its oversight mission, end quote. Mr. Horowitz, how much funding did the PRAC receive in the American Rescue Plan to perform the vital oversight functions? Um, in the ARP, in the American Rescue Plan, the PRAC received $40 million of funding. Now, Ms. Mr. Horowitz and Mr. Dodaro, what other resources and authorities do you need to continue your work? So, um, as I mentioned um, in my written statement at the outset, I, I think very important to continue the data analytics platform. That $40 million that was in the American Rescue Plan covered our ability to start the data analytics platform we have in 2021. It's funded through 2025, but we sunset on September 30, 2025. The, we turn the key off at that point, unless it's extended. Uh, Congress invested $40 million to fund that over four and a half years. That's $15 million, $16 million we're spending right now. Just the fraud alert alone this past week, we identified $5.4 billion of potential fraud. That's 360 times the amount of money that we spent this year or spending this year to run our data analytics platform. In other words, it would take us 360 years of spending at that number to, to add up to $5.4 billion. So that, I think, is very critical. Yeah, I, I would agree. I want to throw my support behind the establishment of this uh, platform and data analytics platform. I, right now, it only applies to pandemic spending, and it's going to expire. This happened back after the Recovery Act, as I mentioned in my opening statement, and it was a very effective process then, but it expired in 2015. Now, if it had been in place at the beginning when the CARES Act was passed in 2020, I think we could have saved a, a, a lot of money and prevented fraud or went after it earlier. But it wasn't established to the American Rescue Plan in 2021. So by that point, hundreds of billions of dollars have been already spent. So I, I think this is a prudent investment on the part of the federal government to have this capability in the IG community on an ongoing basis. It will more than pay for itself many times over. I in addition to the funding, Democrats included funding to the American Rescue Plan to provide grants to states to engage their local community organizations that represent those eligible for benefits. The goal is to help states learn how to more effectively reach 
these traditionally underrepresented and under-resourced communities. So may I ask you, Mr. Horowitz and Mr. Dodaro, will these types of investments in the community engagement help you separate paperwork errors, uh, other uh, uh, unintentional mistakes, and actual fraud? I, I think it's important to recognize and we have ongoing work, so we're going to be looking at that issue to see how effective uh, labor is working with the states and with those entities. So that's very important. You know, today we focused a lot on the fraud part of the unemployment insurance program, but on the uh, benefit side, there was lack of timely benefits that were given to people. We found also some uh, disparities in terms of how uh, different people, different races have been treated. And so there's a lot to be done in the unemployment insurance area to make sure there are timely payments made to the proper people in a balanced, equitable fashion while stopping fraud on the other area. Now, we've added the unemployment insurance program along with the PPP and the Economic Injury Disaster Loan Program to the list of high-risk areas across the federal government. The insurance, unemployment insurance area is badly in need of transformation, uh, not only in dealing with these community organizations, but the IT systems in the states are terribly antiquated and not capable of executing this type of, of program in the future until they're modernized. 